Welcome back to my channel. So today I've got this, this is off of an e-bike and this is an electric motor. Now I've never scrapped one of these, so I'm not really sure what to expect, but I figured, hey, why not make a video out of it? So this thing weighs 13 pounds. And if you sold it a shred, that would be 91 cents. Now we can see we got some really nice gold pins right here and board sort by z's is gold connector ends and they're right now a dollar 40 a pound or you can try to remove the pins out they buy gold coated pins for five dollars a pound i'm just going to sell that as a gold connector end okay I just like to leave a second screwdriver in there to help keep it propped up. If you have any sort of like Windex or something, you can spray here to lubricate this and it'll come off easier. But I'm all out of that stuff right now, so it shouldn't be too bad. Now, if you're trying to protect the tire and the tube, you want to be a little bit more careful than I was, but this stuff's just all garbage. So we get it under there, and then this comes off no problem at all. That's brass, so we cut that off basically right here. And we should be able to cut this rubber off of there. Now, if not, then you can just throw that whole thing into your dirty brass. Okay, we got this liner on here. We want to keep this liner on here because we got to remove these spokes and we're going to cut them and they're under a tremendous amount of tension. And if you don't have this, these things will come shooting out and poke somebody in the eye. Now, at this point, you can use an angle grinder to cut these spokes. I'm going to use these mini bolt cutters now, sometimes the spokes are stainless steel. These ones are magnetic. And these little tensioner pieces, these ones are magnetic, but sometimes they are brass. And we'll flip that over and cut this side. All right. Now we can get that liner out of there. So if these pieces were brass, you just unthread them. Sometimes you got to hold them to get them started. But yeah, they just unthread from the spoke. Just like that. But unfortunately, these ones are magnetic. And now this at my yard is considered extruded aluminum. And now that is shred or a game of pickup sticks. Okay, now these spokes, they just come out just like that. Okay, let's get this brake rotor off of here. Okay, now at this point, if you don't want to scrap this motor, 
you can now take this into your scrapyard as an electric motor. This weighs nine pounds, and so that would be $2.34 as an electric motor. Okay, we got those off of there, and looks like, yeah, those are stainless steel. All right, get the old vice to give me a helping hand. And that one's stainless as well. Wow, the threads must be really boogered up on this. You know, it looks like is that it was cross-threaded. Huh, somebody must have had this apart. I guess I'll just cut that shaft. Now, the fastest way to do that is with your angle grinder, but I don't like to use my angle grinder in my shop, so I'm just going to use a hacksaw. Now, hopefully, another piece of stainless, we can get that last nut off of there. Cool. A bushing came out. So it looks like this is some sort of retaining nut. And I, I did try to take like a punch and put it in this hole and to try to pound it. But anyways, I can't get this off. So I'm just gonna cut it off with the angle grinder. Yep, and there was threads in the inside, so that was some sort of retaining nut. That gets the sprocket off of there, but now Okay, we got that off, but does that actually help? Okay, that bearing is coming out. I mean, stuff is coming apart, but it's not coming apart, if that makes sense. Okay, we got the shaft out. Oh, 
it looks like this piece needs to unthread somehow. Huh, interesting. Yeah, you can see the threads on there, so... Okay. So maybe if I had put my screwdriver up against here, maybe we could have unthreaded that, but without knowing, because I've never done it, that's how you learn. And there is our motor. Looks like I nicked into it, so it's definitely copper, so that's cool. And then we have... There we go. And that is magnetic, and the rest is aluminum. We can try to get that piece of steel out. If not, then this is aluminum breakage. And here is a look at the motor that we still need to get apart. Wow, look at that greasy mess. Yuck. Finally, I finally got it out. All right. Not a huge copper motor, but you know what? I don't care. We got it out. And I think I'm going to use my Dremel tool to cut these. I got some metal cutoff disc for the Dremel. They work really, really well. And this works really good on doing fans as well. Now that we got that cut, I'm hoping to just flip it over and then we should just be able to pull these coils of copper out. Hopefully. Oh yeah, it's much just like doing a fan motor. Still got this piece. Once we get that bearing out, now that'll be a clean piece of cast aluminum. All right, four pounds, two point ounces of shred for 29 cents. Three pounds, 8.35 ounces of number one steel for 35 cents. Gold connector end, two cents at board sort. One cent in dirty brass, I tried to cut this rubber off, but it's just too stuck to the, the brass, so dirty brass it is. Four cents in insulated wire. One pound, 9.7 ounces of cast aluminum for 67 cents. 
one pound 3.1 ounces of extruded aluminum for 61 cents 2.3 ounces of stainless steel for 4 cents 9.25 ounces of copper number 2 for $1.90 which gives us a grand total of $4.05 which is not too bad at all it started out at 91 cents a shred so that is a difference of $3.14 that was a lot of fun to do well I had a lot of fun scrapping that it was a little bit challenging but sometimes that's just part of the fun so I hope you enjoyed this video I thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. To all of my subscribers, to all of my viewers, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being here. It really does mean a whole lot to me, and I just want you to know how much I appreciate and value you. God, I just thank you for another wonderful day. God, I thank you for the sunshine. God, I just thank you for all the blessings in my life. Lord, I just lift up everybody who's watching right now and ask you, God, that you will please bless their life, Lord. God, I pray that you will please give them answers to their prayers. The prayers that they've been praying for a while. God, I pray that you will just speak to them. And just bring peace to their hearts and peace to their minds, Lord. And God, whoever is sick right now, God, I ask that you will please just heal them of their sickness, Lord. God, you are so good and you are so faithful to us. And I don't understand where your love comes from, but God, you are love, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. All right, y'all, until next time, God bless you.